Hey everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today I'm going to do a little video and show you how to put together my gnome and rainbow box card. Um, this file is available now and so if you want to go to either my shop or Paper Closet Designs you can pick it up there and I'm just going to show you how to put this together. So I'm going to start with my little gnome um, my little leprechaun gnome. A lot of times I usually have these pieces already put together, but I've had a couple of questions on how I assemble my layered pieces, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to do it. So most of my layered pieces have a background piece or a shadow or a mat, whatever you want to call it, and then you build up from there. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heart and I like to use my Scotch Tacky Glue tape, and I just, or excuse me, glue, and I just put it in a little bottle. Um, makes it a lot easier for these little pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. And now that I said that, I need to poke my glue and get it going here. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on his hat. The other nice thing about these little um, mats is it just it helps you in layering all your pieces and to know exactly how they go. So like if you did the train, either the Christmas or the Valentine train, you'll notice that the trains had the mats behind it. And that's just so that you can put those things or put the images together and have everything line up. Okay, so... Um, now I'm going to put on his little beard, and you can look at the photo on your PNG, on your PDF to kind of see how things are layered. Um, but really, it's not it's not difficult to do. Okay, I'm gonna put on his little beard. The next up is the hat trim. And then the little hat belt buckle. Some of these cards do get, the pieces do get pretty tiny, but you shouldn't have a problem cutting them out with your machine. Um, and even I've had people tell me that they cut them out by hand all the time and it still works. So just be a little bit patient. I will give you a tip. When I'm doing little tiny things like this, sometimes I'll actually cut out an extra piece just in case one drops on the floor or whatever and I can't find it. Here is my layered shamrock and, or lucky charms. Sorry, this, these are lucky charms. And I have actually already put the two layers together. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are already glued together. Oh, I guess they're not. Well, silly me. So, and this one just has a little bit of a shadow behind it, kind of helps it pop out. And you could put this on here with a foam pop dot if you wanted to, if you were going to do some dimension, or um, I'm just going to glue it right on there. Okay. Oops, I need to turn it a little bit. Okay, now we have his nose, is this bigger piece. This goes right up there. There you go. And these little pieces are his hands so that he's holding the four leaf clover. And you'll notice there's a little notch on his body on the mat and that just shows you right where the little hand goes. So super, super easy. And then last is his feet. Like I said, there are a lot of little pieces on here, but I try to make it as streamlined as possible without losing the detail. Sometimes um, artists try to make it so that it's super, super easy, but then you don't have all the detail. And I like to have detail on mine. Okay, so there is my little gnome. This is the front piece of the card, and I've already gone ahead and glued on the clouds and the Lucky Charms. 
And then there's the two rainbow pieces, the front piece and the back piece. And they, again, they have the frame or the mat. And then I just glued the pieces on. And then this is your back piece. And then your final back piece is this one. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my little gnome to the front here and again you could add this with with pop dots if you wanted to he'd be super super cute with pop dart pop dots excuse me but for today i'm just gonna glue him right down on there his little feet cut out if we match those then he's just perfect okay now i'm gonna score or fold on the score lines and um, again, you could cut this out with perforation lines or score marks, whichever one you prefer. So that is him. And then we're going to take our two rainbow pieces. This front one, the front one, the pieces, the tabs go towards you. And the back one, the tabs go away from you. And almost all of my box cards are put together the same. I know every designer does them a little bit different, and that's okay. Um, but yeah. So now that these are to the front, we want to put the tape or the glue right there on the front. So I'm going to probably do this with glue, but it's easier to show it to you here with the tape. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this tab and I'm going to lay it right up against the score line on, on the right side of the score line. And just press it, get a good firm grip. I'm going to flip it over and then um, I'm going to bring this, the side, the left side over and get it a good firm grip. Now I'm just going to fold it both directions, except you know what, I didn't get that one on quite straight. There we go. I'm gonna fold it in both directions. And now, because I took it off, it's giving me grief. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. Okay, so see, there's the rainbow. Okay, now I'm gonna take my, my second piece and this time I need the glue on these pieces or the tape. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our, our second piece and I'm going to put it on the left side of this score line right here. So there's your score line. I'm going to glue it to the left side right there. Get a good firm grip. Fold it over and then we're going to do it on the right side of this score line or that tab. And then fold it, fold it, make sure that it's nice and folded. Okay, there is our, our little, um, I keep calling them a leprechaun, our little gnome with the rainbow behind him. Okay, now I'm going to take glue or tape and tape it on the inside of the two tabs. I really do use glue when I make these for my own use because when they when I mail them, I don't have to worry about them falling apart in the mail. Okay, we're gonna lay this flat and I'm gonna take our back piece and I'm gonna lay it on the right side of that score line right on the tab, matching up the bottom and the top. Good firm press. Flip it over, and this time I'm going to line it up right on the score line and fold that over on the back. Okay, so then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back piece, my back frame, and I'm going to put it right on the back to cover up those tabs. And we'll just do this. Like I said, almost all of 
my box cards are assembled this way and so you can watch this video and it might not be this card that you're assembling but the concept the technique is still the same okay i'm gonna put that right over there and that just hides those tabs but it also gives you a place to write your message if you want to because this is after all a card and you're going to mail it to your friend or whatever so what happens is this fits into a five by seven card. I think that's an A7 card, or excuse me, envelope. And then when the receiver gets it, they pull it out and they can pop it open and just display it on their table, their desk or whatever. And isn't he just the cutest, our little gnome with the rainbow. Thank you for joining me today and be sure and subscribe down below. That way you won't miss any of my videos. Thanks.